So welcome everyone. Today's topic is uh, optimizing your real estate blueprint to build a massive empire in real estate. Okay, so we're gonna focus on three things today uh, that you really need to have absolutely full control and uh, handle on it. So we're gonna start with uh, number one, uh, you need to have your entity set up, okay? Number two, you need to line up funding. That's gonna be so critical. And the reason why is because there are gonna be so many awesome deals coming down the pipe in the next six to 12 months. And guess what? Cash is gonna be king. You have to have the resources ready for your, uh, Ready to pull the trigger, boom, you need to have everything lined up just to make an offer and then uh, close on the property. And finally, um, we're gonna show you how to find the great uh, Bankton properties. Okay, so setting up the entity, let's just start with number one and then we're gonna move up to the next ones. Uh, so as part of the basics, we cannot stress enough how critical it is for you to set up your entity, okay? Whether it's LLC, S Corp, um, C Corp, you have to have an entity. There are three main benefits. One of them is tax benefits, depreciation. Number two, asset protection. And number three, funding. Uh, banks love to give money to entities, not to individuals, okay? So that is super, super important. Make, make sure that you do have your entity. Now, so rule of thumb, whether you're going to do flips, rentals, or wholesales, please set up an escort. Um, escort avoids double taxation that the C Corp does have. So if you're a single individual, please create an escort. If you are yourself plus a partner, then create an LLC. So that's just the plain rule of thumb. Two or more people, LLC, if it's yours yourself, then do an escort. Okay. Uh, now we're going to give you resources for you to create your entity. It's going to take about uh, about a week for you to get it. My my personal choice is LegalZoom.com, and it's going to be about between 400 to 600. Okay, but you can get incorporated in uh, less than a week, and it's going to be super super critical. This is like the foundation of your real estate business. If you don't have an entity you will not be able to fully take advantage of the benefits that it has, okay? Which I'm gonna show you next. Uh, you have a checking account and then apply for business credit cards, okay? If you don't have the banks, we are going to send you those, so please make sure that you send us an email and we're gonna make sure that you have access to these uh, banks, okay, so we're gonna give you their phone number and their name so you can apply to business credit cards And that is gonna be super super important because you're gonna be leveraging from other people's money when you have business credit cards And what's really amazing is that like look at this. I did not even call uh, This is PNC bank to get a line increase uh, April 15 They just sent us this letter it says your new credit line is 15,000, to tell you the truth, we don't even use PNC's credit card. I think we have maybe 7,000, so they double it without us requesting it. Now, the reason why we uh, we have not requested a line increase is because we use primarily two uh, business credit cards, Bank of America and American Express. So on those credit cards, uh, we have over 150,000. So that is why PNC, we have just put, put it on the side but look, uh, even without us reaching out to them, they have increased, they have doubled our line of credit. So this is always good to have because when you're gonna do rehabs, if you will need cash for uh, down payments, then you can utilize business credit cards. You can tap into the cash advances, okay? It is huge. So please make sure that you uh, do have access to these uh, business credit cards. Now, next, um, as part of your foundation, apply for line of credits by reaching out to Harmony Lenders. So we have a list of over 20 Harmony Lenders that are currently lending. Okay, so we're gonna make this available to you. 
uh, the business credit cards and the harmony lenders. Now, why is this so critical for you to reach out to them? Because you need to line up funding. When you make an offer either to an MLS property or an off market, you need to append your line of credit to the offer so that the seller takes you seriously. Okay, so super, super important that you have this in place. So we're gonna make this available to you. And now the line of credit, I'm gonna show you how it works. So you reach out to the Harmony lenders and then you tell them, I'm interested in a line of credit because I'm currently uh, buying real estate properties. So they're gonna gather your information um, and they're gonna ask you for your liquidity. So how much you have in liquid assets, okay? Now, based on that, sort of your experience, um, they don't really care much about your credit because again, these are asset-based lenders. They care about the deal that you bring them, okay? Uh, so they're gonna take your liquidity and they're gonna multiply that between five to 10 times that amount, okay? But it's always very flexible. Uh, it depends on your relationship with them. So I'm gonna give you a few examples. Uh, so this is one that we have, uh, and then it stipulates in some of them, the terms, right? So uh, how many points, what the interest rate is, what the LTV is, and so forth. So this is a, one example. This is another example. Uh, and then we just got this recently, uh, proof of funds. Uh, this is from Beans Pace. He used to be at Barnett. Now he founded Alvika Financial. So this is just an example, right? So I called Beans and I said, hey, you know, Beans, uh, can you issue a, a proof of funds letter? He said, sure, Hugh, how much? He said, just make it 300,000. That's just because of the relationship we have with him. Um, but please reach out to the Harmony lenders that we provide so that you can get these letters. These are gonna be so critical for you to start making deals. Not only that, but when you have a great deal, you're gonna send the Harmony lender the information and they're gonna right away start writing on your deal. So what they care about is they care about that you have equity in the deal, that you cash flow if you're gonna buy and hold the property and that it meets the, their debt coverage ratio. So that typically is 1.2. Um, why is that important for the banks? Um, that is important because it takes the income of the property and it shows how profitable the property is going to be should you decide to buy and hold the property, okay? So they wanna make sure that you're able to pay all the operating expenses, everything that it takes to run the property. And on top of that, you have a 20 to 30 uh, surplus in cash, okay? The debt coverage ratio is computed by getting your net operating income, which is your income minus operating expenses, uh, that's your net operating income or NOI, divided by your debt service or your mortgage payment, okay? So they wanna make sure that you have at least 1.2 or 1.3. Uh, this is an example of another one from Barnett that uh, you know we just recently recently requested because what I tell you to do, we also do, right? So I wanna make sure that uh, you are reaching out to these Harmony lenders and requesting line of credit, okay? Uh, but what's really important is once you get a deal on the contract, you send it over to them and they're gonna analyze it. They're gonna make sure that indeed you have equity cash flow and it meets their debt coverage ratio. And you also need to provide the scope of work, okay? So this is just an example of a line of credit that it's important for you to include with your offer uh, when you make uh, an offer. Now, please reach out to sba.gov. Uh, the government has extended their loans, $3 billion. I mean, it's just amazing, right? So we just got uh, a loan from the SBA loan uh, SBA uh, Small Business Administration for about uh, 36000 okay? So the government is printing a lot of money. So this, this is the stimulus created by the CARES Act from uh, Donald Trump. So please do take advantage of it because we're gonna have 
uh, money coming in, of course, this is only done for your entity. That is why it's so critical for you to create an entity, okay? Um, now, it is so easy to fill out their application uh, from the sba.gov. Uh, it's just a two, three page application. And then uh, next thing you know, they're gonna be calling you and then uh, they're gonna ask you for your identity verification, your bank information, and then boom, right? So in this case, we recently got this amount, which we're gonna use to uh, stash cash right now. And the interest rates on these loans is extremely low. It's like 3.75, it's a 30 year term. So it's just like, I take this as free money, okay? Uh, you know, even with inflation, I mean, this is like free money, absolutely free money. So please do take advantage of uh, the stimulus from the CARES Act, okay? Apply for the SBA loan, and that's gonna be under your entity, okay? So super, super, super important, because right now is the time to uh, show reserves, have liquidity, because there's gonna be so many deals coming down the pipe, uh in the next six to 12 months that cash is going to be key okay uh next this is an example of accessing great deals so i'm going to give you some live examples um but before we jump into this i just want to quickly summarize the two items that you need to focus that we just covered now number one you need to create your entity okay uh if you are one individual please create an escort if it's you and your partner or more partners, create an LLC, okay? Do not create a C-Corp. C-Corp has double taxation at the corporate level and then at the individual level, okay? And then sole proprietorships, you are exposed. You don't have any uh, asset protection. So only two entities that you have right now that we recommend, regardless of your exit strategy, whether you do flips, rentals, or wholesales, please, again, if it's only yourself, create an escort. If it's you and multiple people, create an LLC. Now, my favorite resource is LegalZoom.com. Second thing, create your business checking account once you incorporate. Uh, incorporation takes about a week, and it's between $400 to $600, okay? Then, once you get your articles of incorporation, create a business credit card and then apply for business credit cards. It's huge. Uh, banks are giving out money left and right, okay, for business credit cards, which is critical for you to have access to cash advance or when you do your rehabs, you can utilize that to pay for materials, plumbers, electricians, labor, and so forth. And then, most importantly, reach out to the Harmony lenders that I gave you. Uh, so, we're gonna, they're gonna give you this line of credits, which are huge, right? Because uh, right now they have you in the system. So when you present a deal over to them, they're just gonna go through underwriting a lot quicker. Not only that, but when you make an offer uh, to the seller, when you present your offer, including, let's say a proof of funds, I mean, it's gonna be super strong, right? So they're gonna put you at the top of the stack. Uh, and then please apply for the SBA loan. Uh, the government is printing money left and right over three billion trillion dollars um, so this is only for small med medium businesses because right now cash is going to be king for the next six to 12 months so please make sure that you do apply for the sba loans and you recently got a loan it's a 30-year term uh 3.75 interest rate so free money in other words it's super super powerful uh, so now let's dive into accessing great deals. So, so far, you have a business. You have money line up in line of credits from Harmony Lenders and then business credit cards, okay? Those are the two main columns for your real estate foundation. Now, the next step is to access great deals because I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. Uh, right now, interest rates are so low and because of it, you need to do two things. If you have properties at a higher interest rate, you need to refinance. That's exactly what we're doing right now. So we're refinancing about five to six properties right now to take advantage of historically low interest rates, okay? 
Uh, second thing that you need to do is if you have properties for sale or that uh, you're trying to flip, you need to sell them like right now because property prices are going to continue to decline in the next six to 12 months, okay? They're gonna decline up to 30%. So something that was worth before COVID, 100,000 in a year is gonna be worth 75, 80,000. So please, if you need to have properties sold, the time is now. Okay, in fact, I'm gonna tell you what the pros are doing. The pros are selling properties right now that are non-performing, okay? Why? Because they wanna stash cash. They wanna be able to have enough funding. When the time is right, they're gonna pull the trigger and they have money to pay for the properties, okay? That's what the pros are doing right now. Non-performing properties, meaning properties that are not cash flowing enough, are being sold right now. Uh, so why six to 12 months are gonna be so critical? Because right now when the courts open up, which is gonna be sometime in August, guess what? There are gonna be at least 10,000 foreclosures filed, okay? People who lost their job, remember unemployment rate is at 25%, historically high, people can't afford to pay the mortgage or rent. That is why they're going into foreclosure. And guess what? Uh, from the CARES Act, you know, the forbearance, uh, which is the process that allows homeowners to defer their mortgage payment for at least six months. And they can extend that twice, so up to 12 months. So the problem with forbearance is that it's not forgiveness of your mortgage payment. So after six months, the homeowners need to pay six months worth of mortgage. Who's gonna be able to do that? So guess what? After elections, most of the first wave of forbearance owners is going to come due. So there's gonna be a second huge wave of foreclosures coming into the market. And then for, the, for those who renew that one more time, by the end of spring 2021, there's gonna be a second wave or actually a third wave of foreclosures, okay? Unfortunately, people who can't pay their mortgage. So it's what that represents for you is huge, huge opportunity to help homeowners uh, so they don't lose their home, okay? Most owners, and we're gonna show you, they have a lot of equity and yet they're gonna lose their home. That's where we come into the picture. We buy those properties, we help them settle somewhere else by giving them some sort of relocation package. The bank gets their money and you end up with an awesome deal, paying 60, 50 cents on the dollar. That's how the process is gonna work. So when you inject so much distress inventory back into the market, guess what happens? When supply of inventory goes up, prices come down. That is why there's going to be property price correction in the next 12 months, up to 30%. It's gonna be huge. So they're gonna be great deals, deal of inventory coming down the pipe at very good prices but you need to be ready right you need to have your entity you need to have money lined up okay this is what i just showed you and the next step is for you to have access to this deal so we're going to show you uh we're focusing on banked on property so properties that the bank took over uh nobody bought them so we can bank on properties so these are examples so we're actually going to take you to this property in uh, mount prospect not this sunday but the following sunday we wrapped up, we're wrapping up the rehab. So we ended up buying this property for 160, um, it appraised for over 280, okay? So it was just a great deal. Um, rehab was about between 32 to $35,000. So, you know, even Chicago people said, the most you should pay for this property, assuming you flip it, is 173. We ended up paying 160, okay? So it's a great deal. So I wanna show you, uh, you're going to be able to access this is how much we got it on the contract. Uh, so now let me show you how you're going to be accessing great deals. Back on property. So we have this special relationship with uh, an asset manager in Texas that has access to all the inventory that goes to the auctioning platforms such as hubs.com, auction.com. Uh, Hudson and Marshall. So we get access to that inventory. So this week we got 666 properties, 
Okay. So what I typically like to do, um, I just like to put them on the map, right? Or you can filter by, by cities, but I usually like um, to put them on the map. So I'm gonna click on uh, map view. Now, why is that so important? Because remember, when you are looking for deals, you've got to understand your area, your neighborhood, because the neighborhood needs to support your exit strategy. So whether you're going to do a flip, buy and hold, or wholesale. By the way, so you should stay away from flips because of what I just told you earlier, that property prices are going to come down. So when you buy a property and then rehab it and then put it on the market, it's going to put you like four or five months from today, right? So by then, your ARV that you came up with right now is going to be 20 to 30% less, right? So it's extremely risky to do flips and people are not able to physically see the property. So please be cautious of flips. If you have properties to sell, sell them right now, not in three, four, five months. It's not the time to sell. It's the time to buy, okay? Uh, so. Number one, the area. So this is why the first step that I do is I like to uh, look at the great deals on the map. So let me show you. I zoom in. So this is over 600 properties, right? Uh, so I like to focus on like eight A areas if possible. Like my prospect is an A area or B plus areas. Uh, so usually, I go towards the suburbs uh, or north. So for instance, this place is a great area, Arlington Heights. So let's just check what we have in this place. Uh, there's this, uh, this property for 270,000. Let's open this up. Okay, it says that it's occupied. Okay, you, this is something critical. When you're trying to find a great deal, I'm gonna tell you what a great deal is. As the bank requires, you need to have equity, cash flow, and VCR. But you need to know three things for that to happen. You need to make sure that what you buy the property for has an excess of 75,000 and up in equity. So if you buy it for, let's say, this property, we can buy it for 270. You need to add at least 100,000, 75 to 100,000. So the ARV in this property should be 370. Otherwise, it's not a good deal. So here the ARV is right around that ballpark, okay? But based on Chicago Billboard's numbers, assuming the retail is going to be between 40 to 60,000, you shouldn't pay more than uh, between two, 208 to 244, okay? They're asking for 270, so the bank is asking for 270. So this might be too tight. And the reason why is because this property is huge, five bedrooms, three baths. So, uh, we like to stay within less than 1,800 square feet. Anything over 1,800 square feet, guess what? Your rehab uh, expense just goes through the roof. So this is a huge property. So we would skip that all together, even though this place is an A area. Uh, rents are super strong. I'm going to move up to, what is this? I think this is Prospect Heights. That's a great area. So let's... Oh, but this is way too expensive, over uh, half a million. So we're gonna skip that all together. I'm gonna show you other great markets. So let's go down south. Uh, here, this is in Lyle. We have a couple of properties in Lyle. Woodridge, that's another great area. So let's check out Woodridge in the Page County, okay? So for instance, this property, we can buy it for 240,000. ARV is 280 to 312. Okay, remember you have to add 75,000 to 100,000 uh, from the price you pay to the new ARV. So this is not an outstanding deal. Okay, this is a this is a, a, a fair deal, but it's not a great deal. We're looking for like great deals. Okay, um, let me zoom in a little bit more just to show you. Uh, Oakland, so this is Evergreen Park, that's a great name, 122, I like that price, 122, so let's pull that up, okay, 122, but the ARV is not, it's not that high on this particular property, why, because it's too small, it's a two bedroom, one bath, so this is not a good deal, right, uh, so right away, this is what I love about the system, 
then I can see whether it's a good deal in seconds. I see how much the bank wants for the property, and I see the most we should pay for the property. Very simple. I look at the ARV, I quickly look at the location. So it's just very easy to identify great deals. Uh, so let me, Birkbank, it's a great, let me see, this is Birkbank. So Birkbank is also a great rental market. Let's look at this one. Okay, boom, so we found a great deal. Two bedroom, two bath, 1,100 square feet. So the bank is selling this for 107, and indeed, that's how much we should pay should we do a flip for it. Um, the ARV is going to be in the upper 100s. Okay, this is what you want. You want the spread of about 75 to 100,000 with the assumption that your rehab is not gonna go over 80,000. But based on the square footage of this property and the location, I think it's uh, it might be doable. Uh, now, there's something right right here that it's the occupancy that you that is very critical, okay? Occupancy, why is that so important? Because if the property is, is occupied, guess what? The bank is not gonna lend you the money because they wanna make sure they do an appraisal on the property. In order for that to happen, they need to have an appraiser go inside the property. And if it's occupied, unless you have a written agreement with the owners or current tenants that they'll let you in the property multiple times, it's just not worth it. You won't get the money for it. There are some lenders like um, Home Lending, it's nationwide, they can do what it's called desktop appraisals or drive drive by appraisal. So they get on the computer and they can uh, appraise a property without going inside. But guess what? They're going to have you put down at least 25%. So just skip if they're occupied. But let me tell you something. Even if it says occupied right here, you always need to physically go to the property because most often times they are vacant. So it's super critical for you to confirm occupancy. Uh, talk to the neighbors. Neighbors are the best resource. If you see these properties, even though on the system it says it's occupied, by now it might be vacant. Okay, so it's super, super critical. So this is an example of a great property. Uh, so if you want to buy, let's say, this property, we want to move forward. The next step uh, for us to buy this property is to notify uh, the asset manager. So there's an inquiry button right here. So we're gonna say, is this available? Okay, uh, available. Okay, and then if he says yes, then all we need to say is perfect. We just wanna move forward with it. So the next step is to sign a performance agreement between you and our partner, our asset manager, okay? So when you sign a performance agreement, there's no way back, okay? You have to buy the property. At that price 107 there's no negotiation uh there's no way back you have to follow through okay but when we give you access to this inventory our partner is going to personally bet you so he's going to give you a call he's going to interview you and not only that but he's going to ask you for two things exactly what i told you at the beginning of the presentation you need to have an entity and you need to have your uh line of credit that's, those are the two pieces of information that he's gonna require from you. So once he says you're good, then you're gonna have access to this inventory. And you can buy properties directly from the bank. Even if these properties are already in auction.com, hubs.com, even if people are overbidding for the properties, it doesn't matter. You will be able to get the property from the back door, no competition, therefore you will never ever uh, overpay for the property, which is huge. Like, you know, the example that I was giving you, the one that we closed on this property, um, people were already bidding, if you noticed, over 198,000. So let me just show you. Uh, right here, the current bid was 198. I mean, and there was still one day left before the auction ended. So imagine people just uh we're crazy on this but we bought it for the right price 160,000. right does that make sense so you're going to be able to pretty much snatch the property from the back door boom you're going to be able to get like deals at, at a very deep discount when you buy directly from large banks 70,000. so it, this is going to be you right so this is uh no competition you won't overpay for the property um so 
All you need to check is occupancy, and that's it. And obviously, if you can see the condition of the property through the windows, uh, would be ideal, right? Because you want to make sure that you have a really good idea of the scope of work. Uh, so imagine if that would happen to you. So it is very easy um, to have access to great deals. So I just want to quickly summarize everything that we covered today um, so that you really focus on what I covered today. Number one, you need to have your entity created. Uh, if you're one individual, you're an escort. Uh, if you are two or more, LLC, okay? Please do not create an C Corp because that takes double taxation. You're going to be taxed at the corporate level and then at the individual level. Now, why do you need an entity? For three main reasons. Number one, asset protections. If somebody sues you, your personal assets are protected. Number two, for funding, banks are going to give you money to your entity. Banks are going to give you credit cards to your entity. Government, SBA, Small Business Administration, is going to give you money to your entity. Okay, nobody's gonna give you money to you as an individual. And let me tell you this story. Um, I, I have a 20,000 um, line of credit in my personal business credit and my personal credit card. I requested a 10,000 increase, I got denied. Obviously, I don't have a job, right? Uh, no W2. Um, yet, our business credit card has a line of credit of 125,000. I mean, to me, it just doesn't make sense, but that's how it is. Make sure you have an entity created. My favorite uh, resource for you to create that is LegalZoom.com. LegalZoom.com is going to be between 400 to 600, and it takes about a week. It is that simple. You're going to get the articles of incorporation. Once you have that, go to the bank, get your business uh, checking account, and immediately apply for business credit cards. We're gonna give you the list of all the business credit cards and also apply for line of credits with Harmony lenders. So asset-based lenders, when you reach out to them, you tell them, you know, I wanna buy some real estate, can, can I get a proof of funds or a line of credit? They're gonna get your information, they wanna know your liquidity, and based on all that information, they're gonna take that, multiply that times five or 10, and boom, you're gonna get a, a letter. Also apply for the SBA loan for your entity. Uh, we recently got like 37,000 uh, last month, in fact. Um, so super important, the CARES Act uh, stimulus done by Trump is giving $3 trillion to small businesses. So please do take advantage of it, okay? Get a piece of the pie. Super important. Apply for the SBA loans. Uh, super important. Okay. It's a 30 year loan at 3.75. It's like free money. Okay. So those are the two things. Create your entity and get your money lined up because cash is going to be king in the next six to 12 months. Why? Because property prices are going to continue dropping, adjusting up to 30% in the next 12 months. Why? Because as soon as the courts open in August, there are going to be at least 10,000 foreclosures filed, okay? So there's going to be an increase in inventory supply. Therefore, property prices are going to come down. And then forbearance. After elections, most of the people who apply for forbearance, which is 10% of homeowners in Illinois, can't afford to pay their mortgage. Why? Because there's 25% unemployment or 40 million people in the U.S. don't have a job. They can't pay their mortgage or rent. So uh, for those who apply for forbearance, it's 10%, okay? Guess what? After six months, meaning after elections, the forbearance deadline comes due. So unless they have, say, six months worth of mortgage payments, they're going to go into foreclosure, okay? And again, another wave of inventory coming into the market. They can renew that to, uh, one more time, so... They can have forbearance for another six months, up to 12 months, right, combined. Uh, and then by the end of the spring 2021, there's going to be another wave of uh, foreclosures for those who can't pay their mortgage, right? But they, they may still not have a job. That is why there's going to be a lot of great deals, a lot of great motivated sellers, okay? But you need to be ready. You need to have cash. Savings is going to be critical. That's going to be the name of the game. 
uh, having your funding line up. That is why I show you what I showed you earlier, your entity, talking to Harmony lenders, having business credit cards and apply for the SBA loan. You have your um, money line up. Not only that, the pros are selling properties right now because they, the ones that are not performing. Reason number one, cash, okay? They wanna be ready to pull the trigger and buy more properties at a cheaper price, okay? So right now, if you have a property to sell, the time is now because later, it's not gonna be worth the same, right? So sell properties now and buy in the next six to 12 months, okay? That's the rule of the game. If you have a flip going on, sell it ASAP, right? Because otherwise, if you don't sell it now, down the road, you lose the risk of losing a lot of money, okay? Stay away from flips, stick to rentals and wholesales. Wholesales is gonna skyrocket because there's gonna be such a huge wave of distress motivated sellers, right? So wholesalers are gonna be right after them. Uh, so please make sure that uh, you get your real estate license because otherwise you can only do one wholesale every 12 months. Uh, so that's the summary and obviously accessing great deals. So we're gonna give you access to great banked on properties where there's no competition. Even if those properties are already listed in the auctioning platforms, it does not matter, okay? Uh, it's going to be huge. You are going to be able to pull them from the back door uh, through our partner from Texas, okay? Uh, Jacob is gonna call you, he's gonna bet you, he's gonna need your uh, articles of incorporation and your line of credit. That's all it takes, okay? So, friends, are there any questions on the line that I can help you answer? Any questions? Um, if no questions, I want to make sure that all of you have access to Chicago Deal Vault. Uh, so this is what you get, right? You have we have two memberships. We have the yearly and the monthly. When you sign up for the yearly, we're going to give you a lot of bonuses, like the CRM. We're going to give you access to the bank inventory. We're going to give you a dedicated personal virtual assistant that can help you find deals for you. Okay, that's gonna be important. You can partner up with us in deals. We're gonna give you all the uh, recordings that we have for you to successfully set appointments. We're gonna help you move your wholesale deals. We're gonna give you the top flipping and rental markets. Obviously, you've gotta focus on rentals. We're gonna give you our scope of work, detailed spreadsheets, some rule of thumbs, and um, the flip or rent calculator. Everything is all combined into the yearly membership that is worth over 14,000, but what I like to say is priceless, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you special. If you do the yearly, it's 30 days, money back guarantee, it's even less than a cup of coffee per day, okay? So you can sign up, we're gonna give you everything, all the resources, for the next 30 days, if you're not happy with it, we'll give you your money back. So it's 20, 120 per month deal uh, annually, okay? Or if you wanna do the monthly, we give you pretty much access to everything, all the leads, all the comps, the cash buyers, the private money lenders, their uh, error reports, everything. Uh, and you have 30 days money back guarantee. Uh, so I can help you sign up. I'm gonna send you the link uh, to get started. Okay, so to get started, if you want to do the Blue Angel or the yearly, I will send you this link via the chat. All you need to do is select on the package, uh, special Blue Angel, and of course, we have the good time. Okay, so let me send you the link via the chat. So it's a special uh, Blue Angel or special Lamborghini. And we have a promo code right here. It's two words. Good can. Okay. So let me send you this link via the chat so that you can uh, get started, have access to the bank on, uh, bank on properties. Inventory is super critical. So remember, you select for the package. If you want the yearly, it's the special Blue Angel. And if you want the monthly, it's the special Lambo, okay? And the promo, it's boot camp, okay? Now, there was a question on the line. It says, 
Oh, okay. So the inventory, yeah, it focuses primarily on single family homes, but oftentimes we see multi units, up to four units, okay, in this uh, inventory that we give you access to. Uh, but it's, it's great, right? So today we have, we're going to close on another property in probably a week and a half in Elmwood Park. Uh, we got it on the contract for 150. That property is worth uh, like 260, 275. Okay. So I know there are going to be great deals coming down the pipe, but if we find great deals that cash flow, have equity, and meet the debt coverage ratio, we're going to move forward and buy them. Okay. Um, so remember, we're going to take you to the Mount Prospect property, not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. Uh, are there any other questions on the line that, that I can help you answer? Uh, so if you don't have access yet, or if you want to upgrade, if you want to upgrade, just send us an email. Send us an email to support at chicagobillvault.com and say upgrade. So we'll upgrade you from the monthly to the Blue Angel. And then uh, send us an email to get two things. The list of... Uh, business credit cards and number two you need to get the list of hard money lenders okay they're going to give you uh, your line of credit okay so that's super important okay so this is the form lamborghini you need to select a special lamborghini and then it, again it's 30 days money back guarantee um, another question is are you saying that the monthly does not get the same info? So the only the main difference between the monthly and the yearly is with the yearly, we're going to give you access to the bank of properties, uh, to the shadow inventory that you can buy directly from the banks. That's the biggest difference. And also that we're going to assign a dedicated virtual assistant to help you find off-market deals and analyze them for you. So if you don't have access to log on to the system, it's okay. You're going to have somebody covering your back okay finding those great deals for you in the areas that you're interested in okay plus we can also partner up with you when you are uh on the yearly membership so if you have a great deal you send that to us we bet it and then we discuss uh partnerships uh, between you and us okay so a lot of uh, benefits when you do the yearly plus it's a lot cheaper and again 30 day money back guarantee you can uh, sign up, we're gonna give you everything, unlimited training, okay? You get unlimited training. That is super important. On lean, I'm gonna put it on the chat on. Limited one on one training, okay? Uh, whether you are monthly or yearly, we are going to spend as much time as you need with you to make sure that you get up to speed and become successful today, okay? Okay, and then the replays, we put them, uh, all the replays are on their, the training. So here in Chicago Billboard, if you click on training tab, all the replays are here, okay? At the very bottom, you'll see the very latest. So, or you can also see them on your phone app. So if you don't have the Chicago Billboard Academy app, just send an SMS to A18, A18, with the keyword people okay to download our phone app but all the replays are right here okay so super super important um, in case you miss something uh, you can always watch the replay are there any other questions on the line that i can help you answer so again you have 30 days money back guarantee either you uh, they'll do the monthly or the yearly. The unit is going to be 120 per month, built annually, and then you get all the benefits. So we're going to make sure that all our resources are yours, including our preferred partners. Okay, so you're going to have access to over uh, 80 preferred partners. So contractors, GCs, lenders, attorneys, um, everyone that we use is on the, the preferred partner. So we're gonna give it all to you, right? We're gonna make sure that there's nothing standing on your way 
for your success. We want to make sure that you truly take advantage of this incredible opportunity that is coming down the pipe. I want to make sure that you're ready to pull the trigger, uh, that you have the funding line up for your 2020 deals. Uh, okay, and then we give you the training that you need and also access to the great deals, okay? I don't want you to struggle spending hours analyzing a deal, whether it makes sense or not. You're gonna be able to analyze them in seconds, okay? Just like how I show you. Uh, if it's a great deal, boom, you're ready to pull the trigger, okay? So yeah, please uh, download the app and then uh, sign up either for the monthly or the yearly. And again, uh, 30 days money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, if you don't think this is for you, we're gonna give you your money back. And guess what? You get to keep all the resources, all the contracts, everything that we give you, okay? We're gonna give you all the contracts, all the scripts uh, that you require to get on the phone, to make appointments. Uh, so it's gonna be super, super, important everyone.